All right, we'll let Coach open it up and then we'll take questions. Well, give Louisville credit. Um, you know, I said after watching them play the other night, they're a really good team. They got that backcourt as good as any backcourt in the country and Jones and, and Johnson. And uh, they were really good tonight. Uh, so give them credit. thought they played exceptionally well and made plays at critical times when they had to. You know, it kind of wasn't the same team. I watched three games out in South Dakota. Now, for what reasons, I have no ideas, uh, except I know this. You can't beat good teams on the road turning the basketball over. And we turned that basketball over five straight times coming out of the locker room. You know, I don't know if I've ever seen a stat. We have seven, seven assists and 21 turnovers. I know it was two, and, two to 12 the second half. That's a bad stat. You're not going to beat any kind of good team turning the ball over. Why we turned it over so much, I don't know. I know Cooper and Josh, zero assists, seven turnovers between them. Some of them were unforced turnovers. But again, like I said, give Louisville credit. Uh, they were good defensively. Uh, they doubled that post and didn't let us take advantage of, you know, posting those guys. And when you do that, you got to make some shots. You just got to make some shots. And again, we went three for 18 from the three-point line. I think it was five for five for 11 from the foul line. Those are bad stats. Those will get you beat against a lot of teams, in particular, a really good Louisville team. Again, like I said, give them credit. Louisville was really good tonight. Uh, Coach, Jared McDonald with the Daily News here. Um, you mentioned the shooting, three of 18 from three. Um, what do you think played into that? Was it Louisville's defense? Was it bad shots? Were they just not falling? Or what do you think? Well, there were some of them. I don't know if any of them were four shots. Uh, some of them were uh, shooters that's open who may not be great shooters consistently taking some shots. You know, I thought Charles, you know, can't, he can't just fall in love with open three. And I know he had a battle right before half. Uh, you know, under a minute to go, you just time and score, you just don't fire up a three right there. I know that was a bad one. Uh, but again, you know, Charles had six turnovers tonight. You know, that's uncharacteristic for him. You know, I don't know if he tried to force it inside so much. But again, you know, I, I, I never thought, you know, the first half we got that, got that lead a little bit. Um, just never thought when we turned that ball over, we had that zip that you got to have. You know, we, you got to get used to playing in empty arenas. I mean, that's just where it is. Louisville's playing in the same arena we're playing in, uh, same kind of crowd. Uh, but I never thought we had that zip. In particular, when you turn that ball over, you know, that's just that's the air out of that bloom. And, again, start that second half, five of them in a row. We go from five or six down at halftime, five down at halftime. We go to 10 or 12 pretty quick. And from there, it's uphill battle. Uh, Coach Jared McDonald with the Daily News again. You mentioned uh, David Johnson as part of their backcourt. You know, 17 points tonight, uh, six rebounds, eight assists, and I believe four steals. What, obviously, he's a good player, but what made him so good against you guys tonight? Well, remember, he's, he's projected as a pro this year. That's what he's projected. He's the one guy coming back in that perimeter as a pro. And they've kind of taken him off the ball a little bit and putting Jones out there, who was, um, you know, the number one grad transfer guard in the country. And those two guys together, um, and they're terrific. You know, they jumped up and they made their stats were assist wise. Uh, David A. Jones has eight assists, three turnovers. Uh, Johnson has eight and three. Jones have 12 and six between them. Uh, they jumped up and made uh, shots. You know, Jones, Jones had attempted five three pointers all year long. In his first three games, he goes three for five today. You know, Johnson. You know, goes two for four. So when they make shots to um, get back, make get make plays for other players. They're hard to guard. Uh, Johnson in that center ball screen, he's so physical. He gets downhill on you. He's hard to guard. They post him a little bit. Uh, again, Johnson's and then Jones is just real clever. You know, he never he never gets in a hurry and he made plays and um, made plays for himself and other people. Hey, Coach, I guess offensively, only 54 points. You scored the same against them last year. What's the biggest thing there, you think? Well, turn the ball over, number one. Uh, you got 21 turnovers. You know, turnovers part of the game some, 10 or 12 of them, but you take 12 possessions away from your team again, 
you know, if you shoot 50%, you know, all of a sudden you're at, you know, 60 some points. Um, you know, again, that wasn't the same team I saw play three games out in South Dakota for whatever reason. Jared, you were out there with us. Um, I just didn't, never thought we got in a rhythm. I never thought we were very smooth offensively all night long. I just never had a feel for that. And again, when you turn the basketball over, it's tough. And when you don't make shots, like I said, we were three for 18 tonight from that three point line. Coach, this is Nate Kieser from the College Heights Herald. How valuable is these next few days to kind of have to yourself after a game like this this evening? Well, again, you know, we're all ready to get back home, that's for sure. And I think everybody knows we're playing Little Rock now because of this uh, bubble situation with Prairie View. Not be able to play them. So Little Rock becomes a home game Friday at 4 o'clock. So, uh, you know, there'll be a little preparation time. Um, we're ready to get out of this bubble. You know, we ain't had no practice time for basically a week. And, again, you lay around these hotels. Uh, it's, that's never easy. But, like I said, you know, there's no excuses. Give Louisville credit. They played exceptionally well. We didn't we didn't play well enough to win. And when you can't shoot it very well and you turn the ball over, those two stats are just bad recipes uh, for outcome like this. So finding finding a little it's a it's a you know fine line, finding a little time to get back home and find a little time for practice time, but at the same time get ready to play another game. There's a fine line with all that, Nick. Uh, Coach Jared McDonald with the Daily News. Uh, I believe you said, is it Friday at 4 p.m. at Diddle? Is that what's going to happen now? Yes. Again, you know, if, if everybody doesn't know by now, it's, I don't know if it's been announced or not. You know, Prairie View got sent home from this thing. That was our next opponent. Uh, so, you know, basically Little Rock and all of us agreed. So I'm staying around the Friday here and I'm staying around the Friday. We've all agreed to play at our place. And it'll be at 4 o'clock on Friday afternoon. Yes. Um, you know, to kind of go off that, I know you touched on it a little bit, um, the bubble. Uh, and in South Dakota, it seemed like you guys created your own momentum. You, you had a lot of energy on the bench there, it seemed. Tonight, it didn't feel like you had that same type of type of thing. Is there Was there any bubble fatigue, do you think? <laughs> Jerry, we're not going to make no no excuse. I don't know what bubble fatigue is, but that's a new term we probably all have to understand. But there's no question um, that wasn't the same team that, uh, I've witnessed basically all fall along and don't ask why. Again, give Louisville credit. They were very good defensively. They made plays. Uh, those guards were sensational, both of them. Like I said, there's not many backcourts in the country better than those two guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach.